What's going on everybody? Void Lego here, back with another episode of AI the Samium Files. Last time we were on, we had just uh, helped with uh, Mizuki uh, trying to find Wenju, then he turns up dead in his mate cafe. So right now we're investigating the crime scene, so let's just get right to it. You can wave if you need to. I thought I already told you. Mm. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. Yeah. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene. Yeah, it's kind of morbid. You think it's morbid. totally weird, right? Yeah. In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. Shut up, Iba. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. Hmm. Well, hey, face your problems head on. Oh, Notice anything strange? Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. All right. Do you remember what you saw last night? How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Yeah, probably not. Not until the day I die. Mm. All right. let's, let's talk to this inspector. What's your name? What? I was asking for your name. Yeah. My name is Kagami. Don't you give me that tone. What's your name? It's Kagami. Right, what was it? Kagami? K Kazuki? Kazuki? No, what was it again? I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. <laughs> what, 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 what was it again? I, of course, remembered his name. <laughs> uh, are you getting enough rest? <sighs> no, not these past few days. Why? Because I'm asking for your name? I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. Any weeds? No, we didn't find anything today. Of course you didn't. So, a bunch of beer kegs with a hook. Very weird way to murder someone. Wenju's corpse was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to his two free kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. What the hell? Maybe the cop with the, uh, Cyclops killer wanted to want you to die slowly. Interesting. Uh, let's see what else we can expect. So I could use a drink. <laughs> Perhaps after this is all over, Date. Uh, seeing both uh, friends you know get murdered like this, yeah, definitely have one to drink too. The doorway to the kitchen. White that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. Clue that time trying to tie Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. A harpoon. I believe this is a trident. Trident. Nah, that's a Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renji was stabbed. One hell of a way to go, bro. This oil drum must be some kind of interior. The capacity floor. of this oil drum is 200 liters. Huh. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Well, let me check inside. Yeah. Let's just check inside. Are you clear? Oh, what's that? What? There's something inside. What the hell is that? They stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Open up the 
this mystery oil drum a watch? This is... Yeah, definitely a watch. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. But why would... Why would the culprit put the wristwatch in the oil drum? No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Yeah. Dragon's Palace Pasta, 1800 yen. 1800? Damn, that's uh... Isn't that pretty average? Uh, this is average? <laughs> yeah, I'm a stupid American, so I don't know yen equivalents to American money. Num money. Uh, what else? What's your name? His name is engraved in my mind. What's your name? His name is... What's your name? Hey you, what's your name? <laughs> Seriously? It's Kagami! <laughs> Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yes, my best buddy in the yeah, world. Yeah, don't spoil our fun! <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy, I like Kagami. What? You know... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect achievement. Uh, uh, that's good. That's what he's saying. It says sunfish pocket. Okay. Maybe we'll take a look at the chair. The chair. Look at this little tiny dried up. Thing to do with the case. Look at the lifesaver. The walls are decorated with life preservers. The corpse was strung up near this counter. Yeah, my... The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Huh. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. <sighs> hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. Maybe they put him in the oil drum. That's why his wristwatch was in there. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. How much did the oil drum carry? 200 liter capacity. Okay, so they could definitely have, like, uh, put it in there. Put Renju's body in there and strewn it up in here. Whoever this killer is, they want to, uh, they want us to know that... Iva, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? The, the, the of killer. course. I don't know his name, whatever. <clears throat> Ooh, that is stable. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. Mm -hmm. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. Okay, so they sedated uh, Renju. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. Mm. Let's see what else. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. Look at the neck. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Yeah. Strangulation? No. Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Mm. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. Mm. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. 
Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Damn, pretty fast. Fuck. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. Yeah. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Of course. <sighs> Another inspector. I hope he finds some clues. Any more in the counter? Bungie's body. Anything else? Bungie's corpse is found hanging from the settling beam over the counter. Over the counter. Left eye. The left eye has been pulled out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. Yeah. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. But why the left eyeball? Don't get it. Where is it? Yeah. Wenju and Shoko both had their left eye taken before they were killed. White eye. The white eye is still there. Was approximately on the time of death was yesterday, Saturday, at 1 8 p.m. He was strangled by a cloth or something somewhere from behind. Okay, that's enough. Let's have more corpse. Manju's <laughs> wrist watch was inside the oil drum. Okay. Look. Manju weighed about 160 pounds, and he was definitely murdered somewhere else and carried here. Let's see what else is there. Anything else? Doorway. Oh, a surveillance Iba. camera. Did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All yeah. of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. <sighs> of course. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. God damn it. Yeah. So there's no footage of the incident. There isn't. It would, wait. it would be way too easy. Cash register. I would just stare near the doorway. Notice anything strange, Mizuki? Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying to figure out my best friend's murder. Boxes. I looked inside the wooden box. There's nothing in there. Okay. Empty wooden box. Hmm. What else? Kitchen window. You can see the kitchen back there. Nothing looks suspicious. Eh, beer cakes. Anything? Not talk today. Ugh. Come on, the wood. Uh, menu. Menu. Don't see anything out of the ordinary about any of these tables except for the surveillance camera. Hmm. Okay, something. Notice anything? Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Jeez. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. Hmm? What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Yeah. Always keeping the secrets for me. Swear, Mizuki.
table, 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 nothing. Okay, tables are fine, chairs are fine. Mizuki's looking at the spot where we found one. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. The club is located on the second floor of the building. We used the elevator to get here. Iba, can you check the operation records in this elevator? Yeah. Searching. Found it. Really? The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. Once. At 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. So, yeah, okay, so... I think we've checked everything we need to. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. The the guy, he sedated Wenju and strangled him to death, put him in an oil drum, went to here, went up the elevator, which was 300 pounds, because the oil drum can hold over 200 pounds, set up the uh, hooks and shit, and make it uh, look like this was the cause of death. I, think that's I what agree. Happened. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. I what do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Who? Do you want no. any places you can think of that I don't know about? Well, there is one place. There is. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? No. Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Maybe. You want to talk to Oda? Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. Okay. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. Yeah. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Yeah. Do you want to talk to Iris? Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. What's that out? Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Free location. Let's head out. Right. Okay. Uh. Lemniscate, Gordon Walker. Uh. Let's go meet Oda first. Welcome. You're Mizuki, right? Ota's friend? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date. Oh, yeah, we what can I help you with? Armor. But you're not getting a discount out of me. I knew you were a pedo, Date, but I didn't think you were a cougar hunter, too. <laughs> Mizuki, please. I am neither of those things. Oh, god damn, Mizuki. Is Zoda here? Wait, no. Where's your husband? I completely forgot. I wonder where he got off to. But he'll come back soon. Why do I have a feeling like it's going to turn out like her husband has been dead for years? Because, like, it's said in her, uh, 
Blecker at that. She has like memory problems. He always does. Runs off, then comes back. Oda's never actually mentioned his dad either. I'm beginning to have doubts about the management of this establishment. <laughs> I as well. I feel like they would do that type of shit. Any recommendations? Oh, everything here is delicious. Of course it is. But my personal favorite is our omelet rice. Did you want to eat here? No. No. I don't have much of an appetite. How's your stomach? Same. I don't think I can eat right now. Mm. Yeah, after witnessing your father's death, I wouldn't be able to eat either. either. Still to hear. He went out early this morning. I don't know where. Yeah, I see. Should have went to run the skate park. He took out my business card out of my pocket and handed it to me and me. Sorry to be a bother. But when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's yeah. go. On to run the skate. I wanna fucking talk to Ota, damn it. Little shit, it's got nowhere to go. <laughs> What? Hey there, handsome. Hey, sugar tits. <laughs> Excuse me? I cannot even right now. Oh god, that voice. Hold on, give me just one sec. Like, oh my god, you you are so handsome. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Gee, you think? Come on, it's just not so bad. You're looking at her tits, Date. I know Could you are. contain yourself <laughs> for five minutes, Date? Did you happen to see Ota here? Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota too? Of course. Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Uh, Those are the ones you have to watch out for. <laughs> huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. I took out my business card and handed it over to the receptionist. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Things have been pretty serious around here lately. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yes, queen. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. Like, oh my god, my boss is, like, super fucking dead. That's weird. <laughs> like, what are even the chances? That's, like, the odds of hitting the lotto. But it was kind of lucky, in a weird way. Uh -huh. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Yeah, there are types of people like that. Have you seen Iris? Iris? You mean Asa? Yeah. She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Ah, podcast, huh? Boy, oh, I that's why she didn't pick up the phone. Yeah, yeah. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. Mm, maybe she's doing the Joe Rogan podcast. For sure. What? Uh -huh. For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. For sure. <laughs> Wait, oh my god. What's going to happen to the office? Oh, haven't heard anything about that yet. The BP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too! Man! What am I gonna do if this place closes up? You could probably do a lot of things. So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? <laughs> I love as soon as she said that, I just see Mizuki look at me like, Date, please. 
please don't do this. Well, I... I... We could go out sometime. Wow, dude. <laughs> you disgust me. Uh... Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. Uh... Do you know this receptionist? I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like, best friends. <laughs> we hang out, we party. Uh -huh. We do not party. <laughs> hey, hey! Who hired this woman? <laughs> The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Renju. Oh, Renju. Let's go. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. yeah. Where should we go next? Let us head to the newest location, Golden Yocho. Yokocho. 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 Is this some red light district? Nah, nah. Is this it? Like it? Yeah. You know about this place? Yeah. This is where I met Renshu for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. Lots of informants. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. Huh? Let's head inside. Let's head on in. Oh. Where is everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Ah, yes, Mama. Okay. Nice tunes, though. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Yeesh. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. How would that tie in with this? They wouldn't just say that for no fucking reason. A picture on the wall. It's a little odd. I mean, think, think, think. It's been a long time since we did this. Did what? Sat yeah. at a table together like this. Yeah. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. Oh, yeah. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. <sighs> Wait a minute, where's Date's body? <laughs> I just realized that. Uh-oh, the game is glitching. Are you tired? No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. God damn it. <laughs> that is gonna bother the hell out of me. You Thought can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? No. Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Jeez. I mean, yeah, you can burn me sometimes, but I <laughs> still care about you. That wouldn't you. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Hmm. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. What? In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? 
The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnus Gate, and mentally unstable. Oh uh, yeah, probably would. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Well, I mean, Iba, I'm just a floaty nut. How can I take care of a child? <laughs> uh. <sighs> Having fun at school? It's okay. Is it? Yup. Good talk. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah. But I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. Yeah. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. Yeah, I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. Yeah. Nah, no, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. Yeah. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. We should at least have one meal together. I told you, I don't want to. Come on. Why not? Because, um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Uh. Really, now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. The it's ultimate. disgusting. Too clean. Hmm. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Oh, uh -huh. well, we don't have to be quiet. Yeah, we can just talk. It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. Uh -oh. Come on, Mizuki. I'm trying to find a solution to this. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> Here's Mama. Hey, Dante, Mama. honey. Long time no see. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. Of course, Mama. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. <laughs> oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Uh. Oh. <laughs> so I mama. Oh. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't going to solve a thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. All right, Mama. I'll help any way I can. You got massive bazoinkas. You know that, Mama? <laughs> How's business? Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then, you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. <laughs> Just the one way is fine, thanks. By Renju. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yeah, she's fine. Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Kumakura gang, huh? Ooh. A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. Uh, so Daddy was involved with gangsters. Yakuza. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm.
but it's when Gio Wicker were here. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. <laughs> shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? <laughs> That's all right. I'll pass, thanks. Is this your first time at a place like this? Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Mm. I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Yeah. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Was Wenju trying to get you as your drinking buddy? Good call. Yeah. I was planning on going one day when I was old enough to drink. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a bonding experience. What about Mama? I heard that shady characters hang out here. Yeah, Yakuza. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Don't worry, Mama. Wait, this is for Renju. I promise. Are you scared of Mama? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. <laughs> I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through... 65. <laughs> oh, wait. 65, huh? That's a pretty wide range. Yeah, that's a big range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Yeah. What else do you remember about Wenju? Well, there was the watch incident. Watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. <laughs> Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. Mm. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? I pulled out the watch out of my pocket. It was the one I found in an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? It was at the scene of the crime. Was it at the scene? Yeah. Ren was given that watch by his lover. Mm. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Mm. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Yeah, makes sense. Move on. Daddy had a new lover. Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. The bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. This place is small. The bathrooms are outside. Take care. Gotta go to the Porter John. I gave her a nod and a wave and left. Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. Yeah. She's not at the hospital? No. Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. Yeah. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Yeah, probably not the greatest idea to take a sixth grader to a Yakuza place. Sunday, 3.22 p.m. Kamakua office. Maybe we'll secure you.
Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. <laughs> See ya. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Uh... Do you want to die, old man? Damn! <laughs> you bastard! Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, I would have. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Yeah. Name's MoMA, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. Oh. All right, oh. MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. God, more and more I keep realizing this game is turning into judgment. <laughs> Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. Of course you wouldn't. Alright, Moma. Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? Chairman is right in front of you. Uh huh. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. Well, at least I don't have to go through all the trouble of getting to the head. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Rohan? How do you know that, Date? You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? How about you? Date, wait. Oh, shit. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. All right, that is a big... Look at this fucking mutton chops. God damn. He uh, leapt to his death from the roof of a building. What? Uh, suicide? I don't buy But it. MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Huh? Six years ago. Oh, uh, the fucking... When I lost my memory. About Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. Uh huh. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Uh -huh. Shoko was part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. Uh, of course you would have. That lend you. I told you. I got nothing to say. You got nothing. You deaf or something? Uh -huh. Date, a minute, please. Yeah. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? Yeah. There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. How so? Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Turn off the thermal vision. Sure. I see. The Man. cigarette brand is Klein. Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Say to you. Uh, of you know. Hey, boy, you dead over there? There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Okay, so unconscious. Hmm. So, oh, Mama, is there someone here recently? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Uh huh. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. 
How do you know that? Don't worry about I it. I just do. All right, I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Oh, how convenient. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Yeah. Not possible. When I came in, they were in You made a big Irish, mistake so coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Both of them weren't on the sofa. Neither of them was on the sofa. Oh, no, mama. And neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Insurance right salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is, still in here. They're still in this office somewhere. So where's the son of a bitch, huh? Let me check the back. <laughs> Why you want to do that? Yeah, just curious. Just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Uh -huh. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. Man. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. Now let's check the doors. See who's behind there. Why, hello there, Just as I thought. Sir. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My revolver can shoot right through this wall. Hmm. I should shoot him. Wait! Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. Why did Dante want to shoot this guy immediately? Something's going on here. I'm suspicious of that. I cannot approve the use of a revolver in this situation. Damn it. This is different. What the hell? Uh, Dante, a porno mag at your feet. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Oh shit! Quick time event. Wow! <laughs> Damn! I didn't expect that. Hey, did you just shoot at me? Ooh. Oh, oh, fucking minigun? What type of Yakuza bullshit? Hey, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Here we go, Neo on these guys. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. The what? Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Why? Just do it. Uh, uh okay. Oh shit. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Did this shoot into an action game? What the fuck? All right, uh, let's go. Oh shit. Come on, shoot. Come on, damn it. Oh shit, control. Damn. Boom. Holy shit. <laughs> well, this game got even more interesting. Iva, you saved me. Everything happened as I simulated it. Uh, so, where's this porno mag? You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. Oh. 
Oh, I did say that. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? Damn, there's no point on back though. You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit. Oof. Hey, coward. I see you. Show your face. Who's behind door number two? Cool. I know you. Look at this classic Japanese man. Real classic. Sejima, so, Congressman. Sejima? What is this guy doing here? Congressman. Alright, let's take to talk to you, so, next time. <laughs> yeah, this has been an action packed uh, uh, episode, guys. Uh, if you like my content, uh, go ahead and subscribe to get some more. Uh, like the video uh, comment down below anything like any good tips or maybe some like info no spoilers though uh yeah this has been void Lego. i'll see you guys next time see ya